Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. It has been a little bit, I know, since I have posted a video, but I am back and I am excited to be here. I hope all of you had a wonderful Christmas or whatever holidays that you celebrated and are ready to get going with this new year. I don't know why I'm doing all these hand movements, but let's just go with it. I figured the best video for me to start out the new year on my channel would be, of course, a Dollar Tree haul. And I hadn't been to Dollar Tree in like three weeks, maybe even a little bit longer. We were gone on vacation for almost a week and then with Christmas and everything, I just hadn't gone into Dollar Tree at all. So I went in there yesterday and this morning and I picked up a few things. I wasn't like blown away um, with the stuff that I saw, but I did of course find a few things that I had to pick up So I wanted to make sure to share it with you guys before we get into the haul Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you love Dollar Tree hauls if you're new I would love to have you subscribe I do Dollar Tree hauls all the time on this channel home decor and I am Sprinkling in some new things this year onto my channel to make it more of a lifestyle channel I mean I already consider my channel a lifestyle channel because I talk about things and how to use them and I'm going to dive into organization more again. I did that for a while on my channel and I need to organize my house again, so what better way than to do it with you guys and share that. So I'm really excited and some other things that I am just genuinely very passionate about and I've never really talked about on my channel that I want to kind of add into my channel here and there. But for now, it's all about Dollar Tree and what I picked up. So, you guys, I'm such a sucker for Dollar Tree reusable bags. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you already know this, but they have a new one that I've never seen before and it looks like this. It is so pretty. I love it so much. It's like such a good size and it's definitely very durable. I love the marbly look to it. I kind of wish the straps weren't black. Uh, but I mean, I'm not going to be that picky over a reusable dollar bag, but I just think it's such a pretty bag. I use these kinds of bags all the time. My husband may say that we have too many of them, but I feel like we use them. So you can't have too many of them. And the prettier the bag is, the more inclined I am to use it. So whenever I see a pretty one that draws my attention to it, um, I'm going to pick it up. So that's that. The next thing that I found was this notepad. I was actually, oh man, it's going to give you such a glare. Well, you see it here. Look at that. Wow, it doesn't even look that like shiny in person. Well, I guess it does, but with the light hitting it, bam, bam, bam. I'm gonna put that down so it doesn't blind you for a second, but I needed a new notebook because I go through notebooks like nobody's business. Um, I prefer the notebooks that have the spiral, what is this called? You know, the spiral thing on this side so I can rip pages out easier. Um, but this one I really liked the look of it, I like the size of it, and this one says this girl won't stop, which I think is cute because I'm not going to stop and my husband and, and my like motto in life is to the top never stop, so I was I found it fitting. Um, but they also had one that said like girl boss and strong is the new pretty, little but fierce. I think these are super cute, definitely worth a dollar to me, and it's lined paper inside so it's not just, you know blank pages or anything like that. I'm excited to put this baby to use. And I'm going on a plane tomorrow, so I need it. I was like, I need a new notebook for the plane. Ooh, okay, so the next thing that I picked up, I found this clipboard folder, and I was like, do I need this? And I thought, yes, I actually think I do. I mean, I don't need it, let's be honest, but it just opens up like this. There's no pockets or anything, but I like the clipboard aspect of this because I do tear out a lot of pages from notes that I take and like the notebook will be done, but I will want to keep those pages for reference for something. So I figured I can just clip them onto this, but it's still covered, you know, so it's not like showing all of my you know, notes and all that stuff just out. So I like the concept of this. I don't think I've ever seen it. They had it in some other colors too, but I just thought it would be interesting. I don't know if it's gonna actually totally work for me, but I'm going to give it a try. The next thing I picked up are some labels. I have a few areas that desperately need to be organized in my home. So I'm going to tackle those coming up. I have a hall closet that is in desperate need of being reorganized and just a few other spaces. So let me know if you guys would want to see a video on that. I've done organization videos in the past. I really enjoy doing them and I kind of just got to a point where my house felt pretty organized, but it's not there anymore. It's not there. It is in some places, but in that closet and my kitchen pantry and stuff, 
it needs it. It needs it back. So the whole point of that was I picked up some labels. I found these stickers that I liked the shape of these. And then I also picked up these. This was my favorite shape. Um, I really like this one a lot. And then I also picked up this one. I wasn't as fond. The first Dollar Tree I went to yesterday, this is the only one I could find. And then this morning is when I found these other two. The hubby's calling. One second. Oh my God, you sound like a robot. Call me back. Whoa, I hate when that happens. Every year around this time, Dollar Tree always puts out some gardening gloves and like starting to get in like spring and summer stuff, which I know is crazy, but that's just, you know, they just do it early. All the places, they do it early. They spring into the season so quick. But I always look at the gardening gloves and I'm like, those are cute, but I don't really need them. And then I decide that I do need gardening gloves when I start planting flowers like in March and April, and then they never have any cute ones left. So this year I went ahead and got myself a pair because I don't like to spend a lot of money on because I don't, I'm not a big gardener. I don't have a green thumb. It has um, like the little grippers on this side, which I think is nice. I mean, they're not like super thick. If you're doing like legit gardening, I'm sure these would not be the best. But if you're just planting like a pot of flowers, they had a really cute blue pair too. I think it was like a blue like checkered pair and a blue polka dot pair. And they had like, I don't know, they had a few other different ones. So if you need it, and they had ones. Okay, so this is like kind of uh, like clothy, I guess you would say, cloth material. Um, but I know, I don't know, something like that. But they also had another pair that seemed thicker and a little bit more rubbery. Um, so those might be better if you're doing like stuff with a lot of prickly, pointy, things like that. But I thought just for like planting flowers and stuff, these would work cute, good. But it's more about just that they're cute, okay? Let's be honest. <laughs> I also picked up a thing of cotton rounds. I always pick up my cotton rounds from Dollar Tree. I just kind of stopped showing them in my hauls because not that exciting but if you guys would want to see a video of things that I always buy from Dollar Tree because there are quite a few things that I always pick up at Dollar Tree I usually don't talk about that often because you might think that they're boring or they're just like everyday things but if you guys would be interested in seeing that let me know in the comments below um oh oh the next thing I picked up I've showed this before oh there's fuzz on it but I found my Valentina hot sauce again. I love this hot sauce. It is so flavorful and it's just mwah, my favorite. So good. Valentina. The next thing I picked up, I've hauled these before, but not with this saying on it. And when I saw this saying, I had to get it. They are these reusable coffee cups. This one says sip and relax, which I love. I love it. I love the font on this as well. They also had this with the same saying in a couple different colors. I think it had like a tealish color, which was really pretty, but I just went with the boring gray because I love gray. I love having these cups on hand, especially if you have guests over and they want to take a coffee to go. I just think it's so nice. You don't have to worry about you know, them getting the cup back to you, but it's more sturdy than just like a little paper cup. I just, I love them. And they are dishwasher and microwave safe. So whenever something says that, and I think, and BPA free, it's all the good things. So you gotta love that. I had to pick up some birthday cards, birthday invitation cards for my daughter's birthday coming up. And I saw these that I thought were really cute. They just say party. It says on here that they were $3.89. Um, so I think a dollar is a pretty good deal for them. It just has like the basic things that you need for a party. I thought the design on it was cute. My daughter doesn't really have a theme for her birthday party this year. Um, um, she just kind of well, we're gonna have it at the skating rink So which I think it'll be fun She's never had a party like out at a place where she invites all of her friends from her class and stuff So this is the first year we're doing that um, So I didn't need I didn't feel the need to like go and like decide on a whole theme because you know You're in a skating rink and you, you can't really decorate it and all that, you know, just like the basics So I thought these would be perfect for her little birthday party. However, she does want um, a cake that is shaped like a book or looks like a book because books are like her jam right now She's so into reading which we love so we're gonna we gotta figure out a, a cake that looks like a book somehow I don't know but we're gonna do it. Okay. The last few things that I picked up are all Valentine's Day related I honestly didn't see much Valentine's Day stuff this year that I hadn't seen last year, which I was hoping they would like really do some good Valentine's Day stuff, but you know, it was okay. Not not the best, but I did, I'm pretty sure I picked this up last year. Like 99.9% .9 sure. 
but just in that 0.1% chance, I just wanted to go ahead and grab this just in case I didn't have it because I do really like this. It's the little scroll looking thing and I definitely need to cut off some tag or cut off some of these strings that are just all over it. But other than the strings, it looks like it was in good shape. They also had a red one. I think it says something different, but I do love the white with saying, follow your heart. And if I have two of them, I'll just find two places to put it. They also had out their Valentine's Day, like the more specialty cards. So I picked up this one. This is to my husband. And it just says, I love you more with every day that passes. But I just thought this little design was cute. We both have matching tattoos. And my tattoo kind of has, well, it's a little bit similar to that. It reminded me of it. It's actually really nothing like my tattoo. But, well, it is. No one cares. You don't care about my dang tattoo. It just reminded me of my tattoo. It matches with my husband. So I figured I would get him the card. And then I also picked up this one for my daughter. It says on Valentine's Day, and she loves cupcakes, so that was basically why I got it. It says a wish for a day as sweet as you. Thought she would like that. I also picked up these paper plates. They had them last year. I loved them last year. I still love them. I think they're so cute. I just couldn't pass them up. And I also picked up these napkins. They had these last year as well, so I thought they were really cute last year. Still think they're really cute. They're just not new, but again, I think they're super cute. I also picked up these little Valentine's Day loot bags. I like that they have the blue heart and the pink heart. And um, then they have like the teal in there as well because I do have this color a little bit throughout my house. So I was like, well, might as well go with it. Um, not that this is going in my house, although I may try and do, I don't know, may try and do a little DIY with this, but I got it for, I got a few of them for my daughter's class. And then last but not least, I found this gift bag that I think is so dang pretty. However, I don't know why. First off, look at this gift bag. How pretty is it? Well, if you're not a fan of gold and glitter and pink, you're not gonna like it. But if you are, I think it is so pretty. It's got that marbly look. It's got the gold glitter on it with the pink. Oh, I think it's so pretty. Sorry, my camera shut off so the angle's a little bit different. It's because I had to let it cool off for a second. Only sucky thing about this camera. Um, I just don't understand why they put this blue ribbon with this bag. I think it looks so not, I just don't like it. I mean, I just, I just don't like it. So I am going to use this bag uh, as a gift bag just to have on hand, but I will probably, oh, well, that's why. That's why I did not open the bag up. Okay, the blue makes more sense now, but it kind of makes me like the bag less. Um, that's what the side looks like. So the blue does make sense. However, defeats the purpose of me getting this bag. I got this bag to have on hand when it's one of my girlfriend's birthdays. I was like, oh my gosh, that would be such a pretty bag for my girlfriend. One of them. Um, no, now I gotta use it for Valentine's Day. Now it's gonna be Lennon's birth, or not birthday bag, Valentine's Day bag. So that is everything I picked up at Dollar Tree at this go around. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the things that I picked up. Let me know in the comments below, what is something new that you've seen at Dollar Tree that you are on the hunt for, or that you just picked up and you are loving? I would love to know because this is the time of year where it's like, yes, we have some Valentine's Day stuff, and then we're gonna have Easter stuff out, but like, this is when you want to see Dollar Tree like really give you some other good stuff that's not holiday related. You know, this is the time that they need to shine. So I need to know if you guys have found any things that you are just absolutely loving. Also, you guys know I've been loving asking questions at the end of my Dollar Tree hauls to get to know you guys better. And I love being able to read what you guys write and I really need your input for this one. So my question for you guys this week is what is your favorite song right now? The one that like you turn it on, you're like, yes, this is my jam, gets me going, makes you feel like inspired, motivated, whatever, or just, you just absolutely love it and it doesn't have to do all the magical things for you. But if it does, that's an extra like bonus because those are the kind of, spit it out, Megan. Those are the kind of songs that I love to listen to and for the past like two months, I was just primarily listening to all the Christmas music of all the different genres. I went into even like some trap Christmas music, which well, I was not much of a fan of, but it was interesting to hear some of those like rap Christmas songs. They were like, what is going on right now? 
Um, but yeah, I need some new songs to be listening to and I would love to know what your favorite ones are right now. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. I will be on a plane heading to Atlanta tomorrow because for the first year ever, I'm going to the market in Atlanta. If you don't know what the market is, well, I've never been to it, but my parents have been to it for a few years um, now and I was like, I want to come this year. They go to look at stuff for their business, but they have stuff all over you have to be with a business that needs to I, I don't know all the I don't know all the logistics of it my parents just put me on um, with them and their business but I'm going to look at home decor stuff Christmas stuff for next year so they have this is where like all the big companies and buyers for big companies go to look at different products and you know lots of different things that they want to have be put in their store for them to sell so basically it's like a wholesale thing that people come to it obviously it sounds like I don't know what I'm doing and don't know what I'm going to I really don't know that much I just kind of know the gist of it but I'm going there I'm working on a client's house um, that I'm going to be sharing um, I'm redecorating his house so I'm going to look for stuff for that and then I'm going to look for my own personal Christmas stuff for next year uh, my parents bought a ton of really beautiful Christmas things from market last year so I told them this year I wanted to come along so I'm going to be looking at Christmas stuff this weekend. I know, like you guys don't care about Christmas right now, but I still get excited thinking about Christmas for this coming here. While I'm there, I'm going to try out this whole YouTube stories thing. So you all that love home decor and Christmas stuff like I do, I will be able to share it. I, I think, I think they'll let me take pictures and stuff. I don't know. I'm going to at least try to story some of that stuff so you guys can see um, what it's like there because It'll be a new thing for both of us, all of us. That is it for today. I have rambled enough. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.